So, just got two packages in the mail and I figured we'd do a nice first impressions video. I love doing videos like that and I know you guys enjoy watching them. I would do this video outside because it's a beautiful snowy day, but the wind's a little too heavy and it would totally kill the audio. So we're back inside in the office and today I want to do a first impressions on Amwage Meander and Spirit of Kings Zorak. Stay tuned. So first and foremost, let's check out Meander. So as you can see, very similar box style. This is part of the Renaissance collection. Very similar box style to Enclave, which I already have and absolutely adore. And that one's a darker mint green, whereas this one's a lighter mint green. Definitely different for the brand, but man, it looks good. Notes from the perfumer, Miss McKenzie. And then you have fragrance notes here. Olibanum oil, carrot heart, pink pepper CO2, black pepper oil, orris, rose absolute, cypriol heart, jonquille absolute. Guessing that's how you say that. Olibanum resinoid, so an olibanum resin on top of the olibanum oil. Vetiver oil and sandalwood oil. So this is going to be a very incense heavy fragrance from what I can tell by this note breakdown. Let's check it out. The old trusty test strip. I smell it out in the air. It's a very dry smell. Yes, I'm getting, now this is off the paper, obviously subject to change on skin. Plenty of incense, plenty of the olibanum. And it's got like a dry vetiver smell to it. So essentially, kind of like a smoky vetiver because of the incense on paper. On skin, I'm sure it's going to change a little bit because if there are other fragrances or any telltale sign for this one, this is going to be a very nuanced fragrance. And I do get some of the Auris. It's got more of a waxy powder smell than a floral smell. I don't really get any rose. And I'm sure that carrot heart is adding some of adding to some of this but what's really coming off the paper to me is obviously the incense side of it a dry vetiver and some waxy orris it's interesting it's very dry up top very very dry like one of the more dry fragrance the drier fragrances that i have it's a different it's a nice change of pace for my collection if you will i know performance will be no issue because I don't think Amouage has ever made a fragrance that doesn't perform well. Because Enclave's got nuclear performance on my skin. I like this. Because I'm kind of on an incense kick right now. And an incense dominant fragrance. It's kind of right up my alley for the, I guess you can say, fragrance fad that I'm going through. Because... I love Oris, I love Iris, that's still, that and spicy fragrances are still my go-tos, but right now, I'm really digging fragrances with a lot of olibanum in them, and this has got a resinous olibanum and a olibanum oil. So I'm curious to see how this will dry down. I will be doing a full review over the next week or so with this one. I'm going to get a few wearings, a few test sprays over the next few days, and I'll definitely do a full wearing as well. So I can really see how it develops on my skin and what type of performance I get. And I'll get back to you guys, but I can tell you right now, this is the opposite end of what Enclave is. And it's very refreshing that they did that because Enclave is very minty and sweet spicy. You know, it's, this is total opposite. This is very incense dry and a little earthy, if you will, from the vetiver, a little powdery from the orris, but definitely on the drier side. I'm really digging this one. Meander. Really like it. Stay tuned for the full review. Next, we're going to be checking out Spirit of Kings Zorak. So those of you that saw my review on Matar, I'll put that right here if you haven't seen that. That is a niche clone of Aventus, a smoky batch of Aventus. Awesome fragrance. I need to wear it again. I haven't worn it in a few weeks. This stuff's incredible. This is supposed to be a niche clone of Tom Ford's Oud Wood. 
Okay then, because oud wood is very expensive. Now these aren't cheap. These are around a hundred ish dollars, maybe a little bit more than a hundred dollars US, but it's a niche fragrance. And the presentation, as you can see by the box, is just gorgeous. Matar was blue. This one is purple, name of the fragrance. Crown Florida Lee and Lions going all the way around. It's a magnetic side open, just like Amouage. And then they have these gorgeous bottles. Let me go ahead and pull that out. I'll be giving this away and doing a full review as well. But same bottle as last time. It's just purple is the color instead of blue for the theme with this one. Test strip. Oh, yeah. There's that industrial cleaner smell that Oud Wood tends to have in the opening. This is Oud Wood. I can tell you right now, just smelling what's in the air. And there's that Oud. It's a little medicinal. Yeah, this is... This is every bit of Tom Ford's Oud Wood. But from what I understand, it's supposed to perform a little bit better. Um, at the very least on par. So that's always nice. Yeah, it's got that cleaner smell in the opening. Um, not really Lysol, but you know, those of you that have smelled Oud Wood, you know what I'm referring to. It's very distinct with Oud Wood, and it's got a very medicinal Oud up top. And that light sweetness in the back. It smells really good. If you like Tom Ford's Oud Wood, you will like Zorak. Mm, I'll be giving this a full wear and doing a full review and same thing like with Amouage. I, when I test fragrances, I'll spray it every day leading up. I'll spray it on my arm and let it develop and see what, what gets nuanced and, or if it's very linear and see what changes I have. I can do additional gauges and performance on top of the full wearings that I do. Just a little, little bit into my process, you know what I mean? That cleaner smell starting to tone down a little bit because that can be off-putting for some. Some people don't like oud wood because of that opening. Um, and it's easy to write it off if you don't like that smell, but it gets better and better and better by the moment as it dries. Because it really is a masterpiece fragrance, and this is a niche clone, essentially, of said masterpiece. We'll be doing a full review. Keep an eye out on a full review in the next week or two for Zorak from Spirit of Kings. Guys, I got to tell you, these are both fantastic. My first impressions on both of them, they are both treasures. They are both awesome. Absolutely sample first. They're not cheap, with Spirit of Kings being the cheaper of the two, being in the low 100s. And Amouage, Meander, that's a bit more expensive. I mean, it's an Amouage fragrance. You can definitely get samples. I'll have links below for you guys to check them out with discount codes. You can get a sample of, uh, of Meander if you want. I saw Amouage just released the little minis collection uh little minis set for the renaissance collection so you can get the little small bottles i thought that was pretty cool yeah it's getting better <sighs> beautiful beautiful fragrances <clears throat> definitely some winners glad to have them be on the lookout for full reviews of both because i will be testing them over the next week or so and bringing those videos to you and until next time do me a real quick favor go ahead and like comment subscribe do appreciate all the feedback i love hearing from you guys how many of you already tried meander um I've been itching to try it, especially ever since I got Enclave, because Enclave left a fantastic impression on me. I think that is an awesome fragrance, and uh, I really wanted to check out Meander as well. And then with Spirit of Kings Zorak, I really enjoyed Matar, so I, w I don't have a bottle of Oud Wood. I've had a sample in the past, so I said, hey, let me get a bottle of Zorak. It's supposed to be a niche version. That'll make a good video. So here's the first of those two videos. And until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on either one, you get them spray now. Who knows? You might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.